In Havana, the international meeting of anti-imperialism and solidarity with Cuba closed its second day. More than 1,100 people participated in the event that began on April 30. Previously, members of the Committee for Solidarity with Cuba visited dozens of companies and centers of economic relevance in Cuba. On Thursday, during an interview with Telesur, Luque Papa Forbos, executive director of We Are Revolutionary, who is in Cuba as part of the celebrations for International Workers' Day, said that his visit to the island allows him to see the real consequences and the main reasons for the U.S. blockade. To Cuba to learn more about the blockade and the effects of the blockade, my, per my understanding before coming over to Cuba, um, the government puts out information of around why they put out the embargo in the first place. A lot of that is they are saying that Cuba was associated with terrorist organizations. When I came to Cuba, I was welcomed 100% by the people. And also, as I speak to the people, the way that I just hear how they respect not only their government, but the culture of just unity and sharing with one another has been something that's eye-opening that I don't even see in America. In the meantime, Luque Papa Forbos also referred to his organization's pursuit of social justice for his community and the world suffering from the effects of the U.S. policy. The organization itself is focusing on addressing adverse childhood experiences within our community because our community um, predominantly is make, made up of black and brown people. We're suffering from adversity due to the effects of our government. Um, pun over punalizing our community, um, lim giving limited resources to our community and just making it harder for us to live. Coming over to Cuba, I realized that that's not something that's only unique to my city, to my, to, to my nation. It's unique to the world and it's being done by the same government. It's being done by the U.S. government. And the only way for us to stop that is by stopping to allow them to just have a hundred percent say over this and community members need to get involved and vote out the congressional members that are not trying to hear that we need to usher in peace across the world.